All payroll items are initiated from the employee centre. Central to the payroll process are payroll items that need to be created and set up before you can start a payroll. On the top menu line, click on Lists and Payroll Items. Reckon Accounts Hosted has a number of payroll items predefined. The main ordinary time earnings payroll items are salary for full-time salaried workers receiving the same amount each pay period and hourly pay for employees paid by the hour like casuals, contractors and perhaps part-time workers. Payroll items beginning with holiday are the annual leave counterparts to salary and hourly pay. And personal salary and hourly relate to personal leave like sick leave and carers leave. Other one and other two are categories you can apply to your choosing. You may want to use them for long service leave and rostered days off, for instance. You can change the name display in the program of these last items in Edit, Preferences, Payroll and Employees, Company Preferences, and in other leave names, enter new names like Long Service Leave and ARDO. When finished, click on OK. The names will not change on the payroll item list itself. Payroll items must be configured and the default settings may not suit your needs. To modify a payroll item, click on it. Here you can change its name, alter the expense account it is booked to, for instance set it to a sub-account, Next, the tax tracking type allows you to specify where this item will appear on the payment summary. This ordinary time earnings item belongs in gross payments, but other items may need to appear elsewhere, like allowances, deductions, maybe fringe benefits, or a special payouts on a final pay, and maybe even an eligible termination payment. Next, you can select whether this item is taxable and whether it is considered for state payroll tax calculations. The payroll item may also trigger other actions or payments, like leave accrual, and for the calculation of super guarantee. There are a couple of other payroll items that will appear on every pay. PAYG tax, for instance. This item is one of the type where an amount is paid to a third party. In this case, the Australian Taxation Office. The amount must be held temporarily in a payroll liabilities account, and you can make relevant sub-accounts here if you wish. Next, you need to nominate which payroll items will be subject to this item. The next common item is a compulsory super guarantee payment. On the second screen, the option for a SIPA contribution type is greyed out as this item has been designed specifically for the SIPA guarantee contribution. For other contribution types, you will need to create a separate SIPA item. The agency screen's first two fields are optional, but the latter two require payroll liability account and an expense account. You can select other accounts or sub-accounts here. Select the tax tracking type. Accept the default of none as compulsory super contributions are not quoted on the payment summary. On taxes, you do not need to elect any element as no tax is charged on the compulsory super contribution. The next relevant screen is a monthly minimum threshold, which is by default left blank. Add any relevant threshold that may apply for your business. Finally, nominate the payroll items that will be considered for the calculation of the compulsory super contribution. This completes a consideration of the basic payroll items you will need to process a pay.